Hello everyone, welcome to Singapore for the Singapore Grand Prix and this is going to be a different one of course we start from position number 7 bad qualifying in the wet obviously put us put us in 7th position so here's our setup now so here's our setup for the Singapore Grand Prix it's not the best setup but it does work so we have three oh, we have three dry tyres to three option tyres to use from we have three primes to use as two primes to use as well three fresh two pr fresh primes to use but we're going to stick to our strategy so can we win from position seven see you on the grid So Mercedes front row, Hamilton on pole, Vettel in third, William down in seventh position, alongside Daniel Ricciardo. Three lights, five lights, and away we go here in Singapore. And Adrian Silver got a flying start. Went around the outside of all of them, but Lewis will try the inside for this corner. It works out beautifully. Beautiful overtake to take position one. That was a beautiful start to go right around the outside, and Vettel's gonna have a look, and he does it. So, Red Bull lead. Well, Infinity Red Bull lead and it's completely cut the corner. Sorry. So lap one, pretty much already half done. Got a warning for corner cutting there. Was a, that really wasn't much of a corner cut. But anyway. Try and hold Seb off. So that's been a routine all season long. Struggle on the opening stint on the options. And do really well on the set of prime tyres. And a good race where we were good on, off on both set of tyres with Spain. Uh, not Spain, Spa. We use half our curves. Battery, down this straight. Vettel's definitely got the straight line speed compared to us at this stage. So holding off Sebastian. Mm 
Ross William trying to go for his second world title. I believe Sebastian Vettel can still win it. We'll find out after this race. So sorry for speaking so quietly today. Um, my brother's in bed, so I've got to keep it down a little bit. Run a little wide. So they were definitely faster than said when the second and third set up. Hamilton setting the fastest lap of the race. Run miles too wide just for that little kink. And the engine, that little run off there, decided to cut the engine off. Cut the engine out. Oh, a lot of undersea going into that corner. Singapore sling. And Vettel has been overtaken by Lewis Hamilton. How about that? And there's this yellow flag waved in sector two. So someone has, re has retired from the race. Does that bring out the safety car though? We've already had a safety car this season in Germany. Down in turn one. And that, 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 that won't bring out the safety car, I don't think. And now we're on lap four. Definitely got the straight line speed advantage over uh, Lewis Hamilton. But I don't think, don't think we have it against Sebastian Vettel. Still getting some understeer. All that curves battery going into whatever corner this is. It's been a proof race so far. Already on lap number four. So the top five definitely raced the weight out in front. So Williams definitely faster than any of the one in the any from Hamilton to Alonso, I think it is. Williams faster than all of them in the final sector. So that's where the Red Bull's suited, I guess. So we're coming in this lap. DRS, Jesus. DRS helped on Hamilton there. It wasn't enough to overtake this. So we need some understeer at that corner. So sorry for that car noise. The window's open, so yeah. 
noise from outside is coming in. Coming in this lap for prime tyres. It's good to start on some fresh tyres. Oh man, Tyler's having some real understeer on these warm tyres. So who's gonna follow me in? Definitely not Hamilton and Oh no, we're being held up again. I think for the second year in a row we've been held up in Singapore. So that could ruin our chances. Vettel's in the lead. Gutierrez in position number six. So he's in front of us. So we don't have DRS on the Sauber driver. Sauber's probably got the best straight line speed in the game. There's a good pit stop in until we did get held up. And on these fresh tyres we've still got understeer. So bad. So Vettel's definitely going to jump as he's more than 20 seconds up the road. Need to dispatch Gutierrez fast. That mistake didn't help. Yeah, can't get past an engineer. One too far back and two we made a mistake so we couldn't get past him. He's going in the pits this lap anyway. We've just completely cut the corner. Are we going to pull out in the lead? So we have DRS. So we pull out in the lead. Only just. That outlet was pretty good then. If, we, if that jumps us into the lead again. DRS probably helped turn down the main straight. But Rosberg has jumped his teammate in the pits, just like we did to Seb. Oh! Yeah, we just got really bad understeer, and we can't help it. So we have to just cut the corner in, corner there to actually make the corner. It's the first flashback of the race. So let's see if we can pull away from the two Germans. Oh, are you serious? The Red Bull car has, has got a lot of understeer. Oversteer. Yeah, understeer. I know what I'm talking about. Oversteer. Are those flags waving in sector 2? There's only that fast left hand and that right hander there. That, the left and right hander. 
right there that causes trouble. Now we have 20 tiles remaining. So two tiles have retired from the race. I don't think it's going to cause a safety car though. So we finished lap 8, uh, lap 7, just over two and, a, two and a half seconds back to Vettel. There's two flashbacks in one lap, Jesus. So we're racing away here. up to the corner that, the red, that this car doesn't like. Again we're just having to slow down a little bit for that corner. And we're putting the left rear putting the left over the left front and left rear over the curb so we can make the corner. A quick car, and we've made a mistake. Vettel's gained just a couple of tenths on us. Best driver in Formula One, at least in modern era, anyway. It's gonna be interesting to see how Vettel fares this year with the V6. When you slap 8, 2.4 seconds up the road, it will, down the road is Sebastian Vettel. So definitely got a quick car in the second half of this race like we always do. In four tenths in one sector, and we've had some understeer and we've smacked the wall. It's not good going into that corner. We had some understeer, but we controlled it. Broke just a little early for that corner. It's 2.4 seconds. Bill gained four tenths on us in that middle sector because of the mistake we made. So we finish lap number nine. And start lap ten. So about six laps remaining in the Singapore Grand Prix. Well, Vettel has got away from Rosberg and I think that's Lewis. I oh, know that's now Fernando Alonso. Vettel is gaining on William here. William's not liking it I don't think. Engineer is quiet, so is Red Bull. No doubt Rocky. Seb's engineer. 
and he's telling Seb to jump. All we're gonna do is hold off Sebastian for the rest of the race, and we will win from an amazing seventh, or from a disappointing seventh place. But that'd be an amazing result if we win from seventh on the grid. In the first by turn four. It's 1.9 seconds now. Back to the German. So Alonso has just creeped away a little bit from Rosberg. Touching that marble actually, touching the marbles actually helped us turn in easier, so we could keep that a little bit flat out, a little bit flat. Keep the throttle down a little bit. So Seb definitely ganging on us. By about two tenths a second, a sector. Come around the finish lap number 11, 1.5 seconds. Gonna absolutely stuff up that corner and that one. Let's put Seb right on us now. I'd be surprised if Seb has. I wouldn't be surprised if Seb has DRS. So we've got marbles on our tyres. Just need to worry about getting that off. So Vettel is five tenths back. If anything, none of the tyres are... None of the front tyres are actually getting destroyed because I think they're equal on corners. So, and speaking of Vettel, he's right on us now, but Alonso's creeped up as well. Oh crap, there's the wall. That was a big hit there. So the car definitely struggling on these tyres. Starting to affect the way we turn. So lap 13 now, so three laps remaining in the Singapore Grand Prix. So I was quite there for a little while, just trying to concentrate.
I smacked the wall. So the top five all bunched up. Top four, sorry, all bunched up here. There's a little bit of separation. Two laps remaining. Here in the Singapore Grand Prix. As I said, we're going to have the RS on us going down this straight, so are we going to be vulnerable to the world champion or not? Use half our curves battery already. No, we're not vulnerable. He did close in on us. Whatever that other car is, I think that might be Lewis Hamilton. The question is, will he gain on us? Before we get to the end. Running a little wide and getting some marbles on our right rears, right side tyres. Never had a problem with that in qualifying. Or we'll practice. Well qualifying I did. Had problems all week, all, all all day in qualifying for it just constantly rained. So the Q1 where it was dry for a little bit and then just bucketed it down for the final two sessions. Anyway, here we go. Start the final lap of the Singapore Grand Prix. Can we win three races in a row for the second half of the season? This will be our second Singapore win if we get it. Are we going to be vulnerable to the world champion this time round? He's getting on it's just not enough to get past us. He has a couple, he has a lot of opportunities to just dive down inside, but. Seb won't do it. Just cut the corner. That's why. He's gonna have a look going down into the Singapore sling. Just better on the brakes. Alonso and Rosberg backing out of the fight. Bet you they're both one. William and Seb just mark up big time. Gonna stay. We're going to go to the outside, we're going to stay to the inside, but Seb went there. Rosberg being put in the wall. This is one of his only couple opportunities left. Seb's one or two more times probably. And not here. He can make a pass there if you really wanted to. Service is backed off a little bit. We have 19 cars left in now. And we come round the final corner to take our second Singapore win. This time from position 7. On the grid. What a race. Seb comes home second. Rosberg fourth. What a win. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. We won by us. That's just over a second. So, that was probably the quickest Singapore race I've ever had. So, Hamilton finished in seventh, so that was Kimi Wright, and that was gaining on us. So, John Eric Verne, Gutierrez, and now Leonardo all DNF'd. So, so there you go, there's the championship standings. We lead by 81 points over Sebastian Vettel. So it's a fight between William and Seb for the title. Constructors wise, 
Should have that in the bag in a few rounds time. Alright guys, hope you all enjoyed that video. I know this probably wasn't as good as, that was probably up there with one of the entertaining videos, but there you go. William takes victory yet again. Remember, go like William's Facebook page, Mr. BT Films, for all the updates about the Korean Grand Prix next. On the calendar, of course. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed. Till next time, bye bye.